The following example deals with the configuration of interlock monitoring and supervision monitoring in the S7 graph language. We open the block that contains the sequencer. A supervision means that a message is triggered when the step concerned is not completed within a certain time. Depending on the global settings, the active step is then closed. We select step 4 and insert in the wildcard for a supervision a comparator as time monitor parameterized with a monitoring time of 5 seconds. Step 4 is now marked with a V. An interlock means that a message is triggered when the interlock conditions are no longer fulfilled and all output actions linked with the interlock are blocked. To build an interlock into step 5, we select the step and in the relevant wildcard we insert an AND operation which we assign to the safety guard closed address. Step 5 is marked with a C. We now link the interlock to the action drill lift. If the safety guard is opened while step 5 is active, the command output is blocked. Now we have to make the following general settings for S7 graph. We open the block settings dialog and in the messages tab we activate display acknowledgement on the HMI device, both for interlock and for supervision. We acknowledge the dialog and then save the sequencer. Load it into the CPU and close the editor. Now we open the Pro Tool application. In order to be able to configure with Pro Agent, we go to the menu item system and open the dialog Pro Agent. In the standard group, we select the unit that supports diagnostics and transfer it to the selected units window. We close the dialog with OK, save the project, Activate generation and then start the runtime. Once a process fault has been triggered for which the supervision has been configured, in other words, the lower step was not completed within the time limit set, the supervision fault is announced in a message window. We acknowledge the message and switch to the overview in which we can see at which level and in which unit the fault has occurred. In the detail picture you also get a display of the step, the transition and the faulty address. Now with the F8 button we switch over to be able to see with which operation this address is linked. Another click on F8 shows us the address in the ladder view. With Shift F5, we switch to the sequencer view in which the number of the blocked step is marked red. After clearing the fault, we have to acknowledge the supervision fault. Only then is processing of the sequencer continued. If the safety guard is open during the lifting state, the interlock fault is announced. We acknowledge the fault and open the overview in which we can determine at which level and in which unit the fault has occurred. In the detail picture we see the step concerned and the transition as well as the address that caused the fault. With the F8 button we switch to the statement list and ladder views to see how the address is linked in the program. In the sequencer view, just as with the supervision fault, the number of the faulty step is marked in red. Once the fault has been cleared, the sequencer starts to process again automatically, unlike with the supervision fault.